Chile has such a history of earthquakes that buildings there are designed to withstand earthquakes. That's why there's been no big aftershocks, there's been no buildings collapsing and no reports of deaths in the capital itself. But as with earth, these kind of earthquakes, especially those deep under the sea, it's the following three or four hours that are critical. Now, this was a massive earthquake, about 8.3 on the Richter scale. And such was the size of the earthquake as the tsunami warning has now not just been issued for Chile itself and its 4,000 kilometer coastline, but Ecuador, Peru, Southern California, uh, Hawaii, and as far west as New Zealand, right across the other side of the Pacific. So the next couple of hours are going to be pretty critical and crucial. If those big waves do start coming ashore in South America, then people on the other side of the Pacific will start to get worried as well. Uh, Chile has a, a long history of earthquakes. Uh, thousands of people have been killed uh, ever since they started keeping records. As recently as 2010, 500 people were killed when a tsunami hit southern Chile after an earthquake. So Chileans are very aware of the dangers, but so far, so good. Only reports of one or two deaths and a few buildings in smaller towns having been flattened. But it's that tsunami and the possibility of big waves hitting the coast that most people are worried about.